This devotional, Bible devotional, I have titled Strong Christian or The Life Guided by the Holy Spirit. And what is entitled in that um, heading are those two questions that I have in my mind. Is faith-based relationship for strong personality types? And if it is, how would such a relationship with Jesus look like? The world around us, the pop culture around us encourages, encourages us to pull ourselves by our own booth straps. And definitely, we can say there is an emphasis on individualism. We listen to the news and read the newspapers in order to find the reality as to what is happening around us. But whom do we believe what the truth is? What is the reality of today? Even if I accept Jesus Christ as my friend, but I am an A-type personality, I keep Jesus at a distance. I will do what I believe is Christian way of doing things. And then if I need Jesus to help me, I will invite him. That's maybe a gospel according to an A-type personality. The faith relationship with Jesus, if I can suggest, is more about building trust in him and surrendering to him. And I know if you're an A type of personality, you probably don't like the word surrender to anyone. And then you might be just saying, listen, I've been baptized by immersion in the water. I belong to the church. I continue to do what I sense is the best in my life. You see, faith and relationship with Jesus Christ offers us a challenging thing in our life. John chapter 10, 10, part B, describes a life of faith with Jesus Christ as a life of abundance. That basically means, at least to me, that I might observe the life with all my five senses to find what the reality around me is. But you see, the faith and trust in Jesus lifts me up in a higher ground. If I can illustrate that, I would take this cup and reality might be just this table, but then faith offers us to stand on the cup. Imagine standing in life on the chair and having a clear view of what is happening around you, a clear view as to where you and I can go, where God wants us to go. And so God is inviting you and me on that journey as we invite the Holy Spirit to lead us today to experience that abundant life. Luke 11 verse 13 comes to the end of that third story. The first story is actually a prayer that we know as Lord's Prayer. And within it, there is this emphasis of daily bread. And then there is a second story of this persistent person who comes to his friend in unusual time and knocks on the door until that friend gives him three loaves of bread. And then the third story in Luke 11, starting with verse 9, talks about God's invitation to ask him. And one of the items that he says that we should ask is the bread. So it seems that these three stories encourage us to daily ask for bread. And that bread is Jesus Christ. How does that happen? Well, daily. Early in the morning, we invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into our lives to help us figure out our thoughts, 
words and actions. And by indwelling of the Holy Spirit, we actually experience the indwelling of Jesus Christ in our life. That's how I see this abundant life of faith journey. So may you be encouraged as you read this Luke 11, up to about half of that chapter, to put your trust in Jesus Christ through, in, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And may He guide you on your faith journey. Pause regularly throughout the day because God does not want us just to survive. He wants us to have life and a life of abundance in heaven.